where news comes first. This is WECT News at 6. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. I'm Francis Weller. And I'm John Evans. A high school student remains in jail tonight after facing a judge on charges of bringing a loaded gun to Ashley High. WECT's Cassie Simmons was in the courtroom for Kayshawn Williams' first appearance. Cassie, prosecutors asked for his bond to be set at a million dollars. They did, Fran, and that's because prosecutors believe Williams is a risk to the community. In the courtroom, prosecutors revealed that along with the stolen handgun and the extended magazine found in Williams' possession yesterday, he also allegedly had red tip bullets. The prosecutor described those as bullets intended for mass destruction. The judge finally set Williams' bond at $25,000. If he makes that, he'll still be on house arrest until his next court date, May 11th. I caught up with New Hanover County Schools to find out what What's being done in light of yesterday's incident? The district says those conversations are happening right now to determine what's best for student safety. County commissioners allocated a million dollars in funding to improve security in schools, something district leaders say they plan to put to good use. Metal detectors specifically or any deterrence mechanisms specifically, I think that'll come out in those types of conversations and we'll see those in upcoming board meetings and upcoming conversations. But I'll tell you, security vestibules, communication systems, different physical and hardening aspects that we can do to the district, we are and we continue or expect to continue to make those investments in safety. Now we'll continue to ask questions about implementing those school safety measures. As for Williams, if he is placed on house arrest, he can only go to work, link programs or school if he is readmitted. Cassie Simmons, WECT News.